For today's quick review, we're going to take a look at the three sets from Color. Um, this is the original set, or at least as far as I know, this is the original set. It's the first one that I got um, back at the beginning of 2021. It's 180 colors, premium color pencils. They are wax-based. That's actually, I wrote that on there. It's not on the tin. Um, their tins do not have hinges. Um, standard. When you open them up, they've got this little piece inside to try to keep the pencils from shifting during shipping. And these have the finger pickups, which I actually prefer these of all the um, flimsy trays that are used in various sets. Um, these are about the easiest to pick up. Now, this first set of pencils from them does not have the um, dipped end on it. So you can actually see the cores. And the pencils themselves um, have the silver writing on them. They do have a color name and a color number. Um, so that's nice, especially when we've got 180. That way you know which one you're looking at. And as you can see, the trays do come in and out fairly easily. Um, I have been using them, so there are some that are shorter than others, but that is not because they break when you sharpen them. I haven't um, experienced any breakage with these during sharpening, and they do seem to have a lead on them that works fairly, um, fairly well if you put it under pressure. So I'm going to leave this one pencil out because I want to compare the three later on. Inside of their lids, they do have a color chart, um, pretty much useless. You would want to make your own color chart. Um, there are some pencils that you really can't tell what the color is until you swatch them. Uh, it's particularly their darker blues and greens, they um, look very similar in the pencil. Um, and then once you put them on the paper, the color will surprise you. So it is recommended with all these color sets that you do your own color swatch. So that was their first set. Now their second set is also 180. And this one is in, in their red box. This one has on it 3.8 millimeter pencil core. Um, you want to go back to this one and flip it over. I don't think it actually has on here what the pencil core size is, but I believe in the description it was supposed to be 3.3. Um, I will say that uh, the pencils did not live up to that, that claim of 3.3, or even on this set, which is the 3.8 millimeter core, um, I did find in trying to measure these that they really didn't live up to the same size as what the, the description was. They were generally running smaller. Now, of course, it was easier to measure on the first set because they didn't have anything on the end cap. With these, it was not quite so easy because starting with the second set, they have the dipped ends on them. Um, what I had done, though, is I had taken a couple from this set and from the uh, next set that we'll look at, the 240 color set, and I had simply used a, a knife to very carefully, a uh, very sharp exacto knife, cut it off flush and then measure. Um, so if it matters to you, the size of the cores is not exactly what they say it is. It, it generally runs small. It doesn't really matter to me, um, but mentioning it just for the um, sake of full disclosure. Um, this set, uh, like the other, has the, the pinch-out trays, and um, this one actually came rather smashed up the box. Um, so you can see here that um, the trays actually got crushed, but the pencils themselves, um, they were all in good shape. So, um, you know, no damage with them. And again, color chart in the lid, but pretty much useless because it, uh, you know, again, there's colors that you're, you're going to need to swatch to know what they are. Now their latest offering is this humongous, heavy box of 240 pieces, premium colored pencils. Now again, this one doesn't say um, on it what 
the size of the lead is, and I believe that the description online was 3.3. .3. And this set also has the um, covered end, so it was difficult to measure them, but um, I did cut a few of these off to measure, and they also do not um, live up to that 3.3. .3. Um, I think the average range in size was about the three, around the three, maybe a little bit less than three milliliter. Um, but some of them were strangely as small as like 2.5, um, 2.3. So I'm not sure how that's possible, but that was the case with them. Again, to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, and what the difference is in this set, other than having a lot more colors, is that they changed their color numbering system, but not their color name. So let me pull these up to show you. So the original set is here in the middle, and I'm not sure if we can get this to focus. Um, these metallic stamps that they put on things are very hard to read. But the cochineal red, this red pencil that I picked out, um, 173 here on the original set, 173 on the red box set, but it is now 009 on the 240 uh, box set. And the 240 box set does have light, light fast ratings on each of the pencils. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't trust any of them and I will be doing my own light fast test. Um, but as you can see, the color of the pencils also is just about exactly the same. So let me throw this one back in where it goes. Now for the 240 color set, I did make a uh, color chart here. Um, ignore these because this is actually the Black Widow um, Dragon Edition and I'm going to use this sheet as a light fast test and I had extra column just enough to fit that set in so I put it on there but everything from here and all the rest is the 240 color Chloray let's see if this will okay it looks like we can get the whole thing on there um, I can say that if you look at these Black Widow um, as compared to the Calor, they're pretty much the same, which is a little bit disappointing because I've always liked the Black Widow pencils. Um, the difference comes in in how they feel on the paper. The Black Widow are a bit creamier when they go down, but when you burnish the colors, um, they're pretty much the same quality. And I did press extremely hard to burnish these colors into this, this piece of paper so that um, I know I have a full color um, load on the paper to do the, the light fast testing. Now the um, 240 set, it has a lot of metallic colors in it and has a lot of fluorescent colors. The fluorescent colors, you can see here, they are very, very um, clumpy, spotty. Um, this is a fluorescent. Um, this is supposedly a fluorescent. Um, strangely enough, the fluorescent yellow was much less clump clumpy, and it's actually sort of fluorescent. Um, whereas you can see here the clumpiness in um, this 230, um, which was a fluorescent color as well, very clumpy. And then the same thing down here for the fluorescence here. They went down rather clumpy. Um, personally, I, I don't like fluorescent pencils. They're extremely fugitive, which also makes me suspect their light fast ratings on these sets because they actually rate the fluorescent pencils rather highly um, for color fastness. So not sure that that's really going to be accurate, but we will see in about six weeks or so after I uh, set up this light fast test. Now, as for the working qualities of the pencils, I've got a little quick little swatch here. So I picked out the same colors um, from each set. 
to um, do a little test on them. So the black box, the red box, which you can see the colors are the same number and same name. But then again, once you get into the chalk green colored box of 240 colors, the color names are the same, but the color numbers have been switched up. However, as you can see, the colors themselves have not changed. So I use this uh, newer coloring book that I picked up. This is from Coloring Book Kim, um, Relaxing Flowers. Now, this book itself, it has very thin paper in it, but the thing that I like about it is this is a rare thing in coloring books. It actually has a little bit of tooth to the paper, so it allows you to give a decent test to colored pencils. Um, so even though the book pretty much is, you know, they just take images and repeat them on a page with cut and paste. Um, it's a very good book for testing out colors, um, which is what I did here with the Calore. So this one is the uh, chalk green box of 240. This is the red box here, and this is the black box. And as you can see, they all pretty much look exactly the same. The difference um, was in the feel. So the black box pencils, they had a drier feel when they went down on the paper. A little bit of scratchiness, but not much. Um, the red box, they were definitely smoother than the black box. And the um, chalk green color box, the 240 colors, uh, it was almost identical um, to the 180 color box. And I can bring these up so you can get a good look at those. And see that pretty much they look the same. You might notice just there's a little bit more saturation in the color for the 240 and the 180. Um, than the um, 180 in the black box, but not so much of a significant difference that, um, you know, I would say that stay away from the 180 piece box. And the truth is that 180 piece box, I have had it and I've had it opened for, you know, what, a year now, uh, just about. Maybe they dried out a little, who knows? Um, the other two boxes are, are fairly fresh just from the past month, but I really didn't see that much of a difference. Um, the pencils did layer well. There's many layers here because as you can see um, in the flower itself there's what uh, five colors um, and those are layered. Now one of the things I did do is I used a Prismacolor blender on these after the initial layering and then uh, what I like to do is I use the blender and then I'll come back and lay in some of the darker colors, which is what I did with the darker red. And surprisingly, these pencils, for being a, a lower end, sort of, you know, no name brand, even though they are named Calor, um, they did well. Um, you know, I wouldn't, of course, trust these for uh, long term works of art, um, despite the fact that on the back of their box, they say that they are, let's see if I can get that to focus, they are unsurpassably light, fast, and acid-free quality pigments. I might trust the acid-free, but I'm definitely not trusting the light fastness. Um, you generally do not get pencils that are going to come in with super high light fast ratings that are as inexpensive, uh, comparatively speaking, as these are. Um, I wouldn't let that shy you away from them. They work perfectly fine in a coloring book that has a decent tooth on it. Um, I would expect that they would perform similar to some of the other pencils um, do on a slicker uh, coloring book page and just not be able to get as many layers. I haven't yet done a uh, picture on good quality uh, art paper with them, but I expect that they will perform well and that they should perform just fine in your sketchbooks. So I think the takeaway here is that if you want a whole lot of colors, um, grab the 240 color set. 
um, if you don't need that many colors, uh, either of the 180 sets would do well. My preference would be to lean towards the red box set, um, just because it did seem to be a little smoother and creamier. But again, it could have just been because my 180 color set has been open for a year and maybe the pencil leads did dry a bit. So hopefully this will help someone out in making a decision of which of the three offerings from Color you may want to buy.